What up, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian. You already know what it is. Coming to you live on a Monday afternoon. The Pittsburgh Steelers finally snapped a three-game losing streak and beat the Colts in stunning fashion yesterday, 28-24, claiming the AFC North Division title for the third time in five years. And I tell you, it was a roller coaster of a ride yesterday. The Steelers overcame a 17-point lead, the biggest in the Mike Tomlin era. This game was a tale of two halves. Coming down, the Steelers ended up trailing 24-7 after the Colts got the opening drive in the third quarter and kicked the field goal, and it was just a debacle in the first half. It was The first half was just what we've seen the last three weeks, and especially in that Cincinnati game, and I don't know what happened in that second half or what happened at halftime or what Mike Tomlin or any of these players said to each other, but they finally turned it own big time they stopped they finally they have not been able to throw the ball downfield not making defenses get honest and they finally decided to do that in the second half start off big ben throwing a 39 yard strike to deontay johnson finally down the field and the thing i've been saying this all year i don't know if fitchner decided to do this big ben decided to do this but they finally decided to do it when you throw the ball down the field you stretch the defense out and then you can go back to what you normally like to do which is the mesh concepts the the crossing routes the short quick passing and the rpos which they have had no form of running because we ran the ball for 20 yards yesterday which is still a huge concern against this team but big ben turned into vintage big ben and finally decided to make some plays and throw the ball downfield and i loved what i seen a lot of play action in the pocket, getting guys, making the safeties bite, even through Juju, the strike down the, down the middle of the field after he pump faked the safety, and that got us up 28-24 late in that fourth quarter. And the defense forced two turnovers in this game, a, a strip a strip sack of Phillip Rivers, got it down to the one. That was the only score we got in the first half. Mike Hilton recovered that. James kind of ran it in. And even Mike Hilton, again, had an interception on Phillip Rivers. We started to get to Phillip Rivers. And the thing about Phillip Rivers is, He's a statue in the pocket. He can't move. Big Ben's a way better improviser than him. And if he gets off script, Phillip Rivers is going down. And we continue to do that. Finally change our looks up, disguise everything we needed to do. We outscored the coach 21 zip in the last final 18 minutes and 16 seconds. The game, in my opinion, changed after the coach got a field goal, went down, drove, got stopped on the go, but held the coach on the goal line. They punted. And then from there, the Steelers finally to take off. And shout out to TJ Watt, another two sacks, leads the NFL in sacks. He should be Defensive Player of the Year, no questions about it. Shout out to Alex Highsmith, the rookie who stepped in for Bud Dupree and played his best career NFL game. We got Vince Williams back. We still need Spillane back, you know. But hey, we're shorthanded. Avery Williamson played pretty well. Hopefully we get Marcus Allen back as well, too. Hopefully these injuries start to, we can kind of catch up and get a little healthier. You know, the playoffs are in two weeks, which we will be playing on the opening round because right now, as of right now, we are the two seed. So the Chiefs have locked up that number one spot. But my main takeaway from this game was the fact that we still need to find a way to run the football better because I'm a little more confident today than I was last week when I hit the panic button that we still can at least win a playoff game, but we cannot continue to rush the ball like this against the elite teams such as the Kansas Cities, you know, the Buffalo Bills, the team. The two things I the two teams I definitely think are better than us right now and any we wish to have trouble with the titans the ravens who knows if they'll get in right now they control their destiny but this playoff picture is crazy the coach might not even get in after we beat them cleveland might not get in you know who knows it's a third of the league still doesn't know if they're gonna make the playoffs going into this week to week 17 but stillers handled business yesterday and did what they were supposed to do and capture the afc north that is the number one step teams always strive to be let's win a division and then take care of business at 12 and 4 right at, tw- at 12 and 3 right now that's what they say right now. Now, Sunday, they play the Cleveland Browns on the road. Cleveland had a humility loss yesterday. I know they were out their top four receivers, but they lost to the Jets, who got their second one of the year. Now, we go into that game. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if Mike Thomas is playing Big Roethlisberger. I don't know if they're going to rest because the Steelers haven't had a bye week since week four after the early COVID outbreak against you know against Tennessee. So, we'll see what happens. Um We'll see if they're playing their, their underdogs are ready, but Cleveland's going to have a lot more to play for, so I don't know what the Steelers are going to do. We'll wait and see what Mike Tomlin, Tomlin decides to do. You know, I trust Big T. And he had a quote. I'm not going to quote him verbatim, but he said something like this. Fine line between drinking drinking wine and, and squashing grapes, as they say in the business. You know, he said that during halftime. But I'm excited. That builds a little momentum. The second half was very big for them. They finally turned it around and, you know, got some momentum going. 
Hopefully they continue to play like this and not like in the first half. And it, that whole month and a half of football was very bad. So hopefully they can carry the momentum and play like this coming down the stretch. Or like I continue to say that you need to play your best football in order to win a championship and even win playoff game. So we'll at least get a home playoff game. Or start that. Well, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm a little more optimistic, a little more happy, but there's still things that need to be tuned up and we still need to get them together. And we need to play a whole half of football like this, especially coming up now as the competition is only going to continue to get better as week 17 comes up and the players are about to start. So 12-4, and four, AFC North champs. Let's keep it up. Let's get healthy. Um, a positive win, a step in the right direction for these Steelers. And, hey, a little more happier. With that win yesterday made me a happy man. So um, let's keep it going, Steeler Nation. Keep waving those terrible ties and let's get ready for week 17 in this playoff push coming for it, baby. Hey, it's your boy Adrian. Everybody, like I always say, continue to chase those dreams. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Like this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It's your boy, and I'm out.